Hey, welcome back lads, so let's talk some more about the new content that is going to be in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 this year because, well, we are now just about two weeks away from this stuff being officially revealed to us and there has been a lot of leaks recently, which means that we now have almost a full list of all the weapons that will be in the game and a couple of different kill streaks or score streaks too, so let's get into that. Remember last week that we had this list of weapons and streaks leak out, but I realise it isn't very helpful to look at this long ass list list of code names, you can't really make anything out. So I made these graphics to help you visualize that content, but, but I would say that not everything in here is going to be 100% accurate, but I did my best. Right, so we're starting off with the assault rifles. There isn't really much to say, to be honest, because, well, they have been leaked for a couple of weeks already. Remember that we had a leaked image of the assault rifle selection screen from the creator class menu, and they're all pretty easy to identify, and there they are. Now, moving on to the battle rifles, you may begin to notice a pattern here that the weapon family or variant system from Modern Warfare 2 is returning. So what that means is like you have different versions of or variants from a same weapon platform like the ACR has an assault rifle, a battle rifle and DMR version. It's worth noting as well that every single weapon from Modern Warfare 2 is also going to be in Modern Warfare 3 as well instantly so there's going to be a load of weapons. I wonder how that's going to be balanced. It if it's possible. And then here are the SMGs. We also had leaked images of them, but the issue was that they had attachments on, which made it really hard to identify what they were. But now we got the code names, it was a bit easier to kind of research into that. Now you may begin to notice some of the weapon platforms as well that are kind of reoccurring here, like the ACR, the CZ Bren rifles, the Chinese QBZ weapon family, and the German HK G36s. So yeah, there's some some cool stuff in there. Now, of course, snipers are always popular. I'm a sniper myself, and this list is kind of interesting because there are two I just cannot identify 100%, including what seems to be the main bolt action rifle. And I said it last week, it kind of looks like the FN Ballista, which was the Ballista in Black Ops 2, but the version in Modern Warfare 3, because there is a leaked image, it's, um, it looks a bit thicker, like a thicker version of the Ballista, but I just cannot find anything. And I've done a lot of research. I spent, you know, a couple of hours looking around. And I can't find anything that looks exactly like the rifle in the leaked image and once again that could be because of attachments that you know drastically change what it looks like so yeah I, I don't have a clue. Now there are two leaked shotguns and the code names in the files are just pump and semi which would you know tell us that that one is pump action and one is semi-automatic but that could be anything really it doesn't really give us any names you know any clues to the names but then here are the pistols there's nothing really special or anything I want to say about it. It's just a bunch of pistols, you know, and there are no leaked launches yet. So we can finally move on to the kill streaks slash score streaks. There are only a few that we know about so far, but I think it's kind of what most of us expected. It makes sense that a lot of the Modern Warfare 2 streaks would return alongside some new streaks. Perhaps some from Modern Warfare 2 might be left out, left in the past, but I don't know. Let's talk about the two new streaks. So we have the Switchblade drone, which is a kamikaze drone or loitering munition. So it acts like just like the hunter killer from black ops 2 so it's a drone that you launch into the air and then it will like lock on to an enemy player at random and then ram them or crash into them and the lrad or long range acoustic device is some kind of awareness streak i'm not sure exactly how it's supposed to work but it might make enemy footsteps louder or something like that it could even be this game's version of the advanced uav Hmm, I don't know, I guess we'll have to wait until the reveal, the multiplayer reveal, or the beta, but yeah, I think that is about that, that is all the leaked content, yeah. I don't think there's anything else to say, it kind of explains itself, right? So stay spicy, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.